Um, so fast forward, uh, when I got in the thick of things of working for Ian, uh, during the pandemic, um, I told him straight up, I was like, Hey man, uh, I know the reputation, like, just don't screw me over. Don't, don't fuck me over on pay. And he's like, Oh, you don't ever have to worry about that. Blah, blah, blah. So I was, I, I was kind of thought I was taken care of. And then like I said, like two years, uh, He's never, ever screwed me over. And during the pandemic, even, like during the time of like where you could actually screw people over on money and actually have a, an excuse of not having people in your crowd to pay, pay me, like and I could see that you only have two people in the crowd. Like uh, if there was an excuse to have to not pay somebody, that was the time to have it. Um, but we always had that understanding. In that agreement, like, hey, man, like, it's only going to take one time for you to screw me over because, like, I, I know the history. Yeah. Um, so um, in, in, in the past, like, I would I would give my paydays to the the uh, the boys, you know, the wrestlers. I would uh, say, hey, man, uh, the the crowd was obviously really, really bad tonight. So please, like, take up my take my payday and break it up and give, you know, like five, 10, 15 bucks to, to the wrestlers and make sure, cause I know what it's like being a young wrestler in this business and not having gas money or not having money to get a hamburger after the show. So it was like, please break this up, give it to the boys, you know, make sure they have something to get home. I did that uh, a few times. Um, and there was a couple times during the show where he would, uh, or during different shows, he'd be like, "Hey man, uh, draws bad. Can I PayPal you such such day?" I'm like, yeah, sure, no problem. Well, uh, Chicago, uh, me and John Wayne were about to have uh, deadly doors, and there was uh, a, like firecrackers taped to these uh, doors. And uh, two matches before mine, I'm dressed, ready to go. I drove six and a half hours. Uh, from Dayton to uh, Chicago to do the show, so I had to do. Uh, I had to catch a flight out of O'Hare that next morning to uh, do Circle Six in Orlando the next day. So um, two two matches before ours, uh, Murdoch or before mine and Murdoch's. Uh, Ian comes up and goes, "Hey guys, uh, I'm not going to be able to pay you tonight. Uh, can I pay pal you on Monday?" say so, yeah sure no problem so we go off we we have that match we kill it boom uh orlando i wrestled anthony henry had a killer match with anthony henry at circle six uh um it's so like that monday i get home from traveling uh so forth i go hey man it was like late at night i was like all right i'm sorry i let that monday pass it was like that tuesday uh, was when I got home from traveling and shit, I go, Hey bro, uh, I didn't see anything in the PayPal. Am I missing something? Said you PayPal me on Monday. He's like, Oh, West Western union, uh, messed up the check. Like the check's not going to be here at time. I'm like, check. What are you talking about? He's like my, uh, my bank account, all my funds got frozen and they sent me a check with every cent that I had my account in Western Union or FedEx or somebody was uh, is bringing that to me. FedEx, that's what it was, FedEx. Um, is, is supposed to deliver that to me and it's delayed. I'm like, oh, okay, sure, no problem. So I literally forget about it for uh, like a week or so. I let it go by and I, hey man, uh, I noticed uh, there's nothing in the PayPal like, What's going on? Oh, I'm sorry, Jake. Um, like, I'll, I'll get it to you tonight. Uh, some about FedEx again. I was like, all right, cool. No problem. The night, a couple days go by. I message him. He starts ghosting me for like a week or so. Um, and then now it's like, fast forward, it's about a month. And it's, uh, it's that uh, a week it's that Monday before his show on 
Friday because I'm supposed to do the same deal. I'm supposed to go wrestle for him on Chicago in Chicago, catch a flight for Circle Six and L, uh, for LA the next day. Um, I had it all mapped out, all planned out with Ian because uh, I was uh, going to uh, wrestle uh, one of the very first few matches so I could get to my uh, my gate on time because like my plane was leaving at 10. Yeah. Uh, so I, I was just going to do like match one or two, jump in and boom. Uh, but I noticed that the building, the actual building, not Ian, not anybody from his camp, the building posted, hey, uh, September 18th show is uh or not september 8th uh, the uh june 18th show is uh canceled it's not happening so i screenshotted it and i sent it to him i'm like hey bro uh, what's going on like i'm supposed to be flying out of chicago to do your show like is your show not happening and he ghosted me doesn't say a word I'm like hmm all right so let it, this was at 5 a.m Five in the morning. I'm like, um, all right. A couple hours go by. Send him another message. Dude, I really need to know, uh, is your show happening? What's going on? I sent him the screenshot again. And he didn't send it to me. I'm like, all right, bro. Like, I've noticed we don't have any money in the PayPal. Uh, you're not messaging me about if your show's uh, canceled or not. So I need my uh, $600 that you owe me uh, in my PayPal by 5, uh, yeah, by 5 p.m. Or keep your eyes on, uh, on social media. I'll have a, uh, a video for you. So, like, don't hear nothing. Don't hear anything at all. And that was probably around, uh, I think, 10, 11 o'clock in the morning. Don't so hear what he's hours. Yeah. So he's had What's hours. That? He's had oh, hours. He's had hours at this point. Um, and at this point, I'm already I'm talking with Zachary Wentz because he's supposed to do the same thing with me. He's supposed to do IWA. We're supposed to jump in the car, go to O'Hare, and get on a plane and go to LA uh, to catch our show. And he goes, he like uh, Zach's telling me that he's talking with Ian throughout the morning and saying the show is going to happen that it's still going to happen. But I, I still haven't received a word about the money that he owes me or if the show is going to happen. So I give him that ultimatum, like, Hey, five o'clock or keep your eyes on social media. I, me and my buddy drive over to the place that I like to cut promos. And, um, it's like four, four fifty, 10 minutes before, uh, I'm going to burn his belt. And uh, he messages me, oh, Jake, you know, I hope you get this. I've been trying to uh, reach you for hours. Uh, my, my phone's uh, messed up. I'm at the hospital right now. Misty just had a heart attack. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Misty's his uh, He's fiance, bummer. his girlfriend, whatever. Um, so I go, no, you're a bullshit liar. You got six more minutes. Keep your eyes on social media. Um, if you don't PayPal me my money, you owe me. So uh, waited till about I think it was two minutes past five. I get a hold of my beautiful, stunning wife, and I go, "Hey, sweetheart, has Ian PayPal me yet?" And she goes, "Nope." I go. Awesome. So I hand my phone over to my buddy Bobby and I go, Bobby, are you ready? He's like, let's do this, bud. So, uh, yeah, I proceeded to film uh, what you see on social media. Um, he messages me on the way back from just burning his belt uh, and his uh, fiance and was like, no, Jay, trust me. Because uh, I, I blocked him. I blocked I, uh, IWA and Ian from messaging me on uh, social media and uh, on my phone. 
uh, so was uh, so Misty got a hold of me and was like, "No, Jake, just give us till tonight, please. Like, uh, we'll pay you tonight." To, uh, um, I'm really in the hospital, and she sent me a fake picture of like her wrist that wasn't even the same name as hers, like on her like doctor, you know, <laughs> the oh, hospital shit. tag, you know what I mean? So like, how do you stick just, together? Right? Yeah, though. So it's like, that's what they do though. They go on uh, social media and they pull pictures off to try to uh, uh, make their bullshit uh, not stink. But uh, I, I sent through and I was, I sent them a message. I was like, Hey, uh, What's done is done. Um, the video will be uploaded soon. Just tell Ian to keep his uh, his eyes uh, peeled on uh, on social media, and then uh, got to edit it up. And next thing you know, it literally it blew up. It, it pun yeah. intended. It caught fire. It was awesome. Dude, I, I watched like I remember seeing it on on Instagram or, or Twitter, and I was like. I watched it. I'm like, hold on a sec. What the fuck's going on here? And it was like, I went back and I watched it again. I'm like, oh shit, he's burning the IWA belts. And then I'm like, all right, what? Tried to look what it's into it. But the fact, the fact is, is like, I found it surprising that a lot of people were like, oh my god, Ian Rotten doesn't pay people. I'm like, I'm on the other side of the fucking world. <laughs> I've known this shit for twenty years. You know what I mean? Like, it, it, you know, he's an interesting like a very interesting character man like i was supposed to have him on my podcast uh a month or so ago and a few hours before the podcast he messaged me and said hey man i'm on holidays i don't have the best phone reception uh we may need to reschedule and i'm like didn't you wouldn't you know that you're on holidays when a week before when we organize this bro like yeah, dude. You, know I mean? uh, like, yeah. you could have said something like, pretty cool. I, I would have been like, okay, man, you can have your holiday when you're back. We'll sort it out. But I just, yeah, and, and then ghosted me after that. And I was like, uh, you know, that's kind of like, I was that's like, yeah, what he I, does, I, man. He's he ghosts fucking people, bro. And that's that's the thing. It's like a lot, of, and I know he had the uh, reputation. Like I said, I mean, like, but. With BJ years prior to that, like with with him screwing over my buddy and like, uh, I, I I thought I was pretty much you know like we were in the understanding and understanding like hey bro don't fuck me over like I'm not the person that to fuck over because if you do like I will end up getting you so I'm like and, and I knew he screw people over over for years and years and years of screwing people over. Like I get that. But like the, the years that I've worked for him, even, uh, uh, even before the pandemic, it's like, he never screwed me over because like, I, I, I don't know. I had it in, like, I always knew it in my back pocket. Like he knew that I knew. That if he could screw, uh, he's going to screw over my friend. That he screw over me. So it's like we both kiss, kind of had that agreement and understanding. Like, hey, you're not going to fuck me over, right? Right? You're not going to fuck me over, right? Until it was, you know, the time to to fuck me over, you know. But that's what? that's you live and you learn. Hundred percent. What like did you hear like what his reaction was to the video, like of the burning of the belts? Because like I saw that, I was like, oh shit! Like that, you know what I mean? Like that's a fucking statement, bro. Like when you burn a promoter's fucking belts, uh, like did you get a response from him about it? Like what was the the whole like thing after that, the aftermath? Um, no, like I said before, I posted it. I del- I uh, deleted him and uh, blocked him on everything. Just trying to contact me because I didn't want this dude to fucking message me and try to be like, "Hey, let's let's turn this into a work." Like, no, like I I did this for three reasons. First reason, a like first reason number one, he fucked me on money. He owes me six hundred dollars. That's my rent. Like that's my house payment, you know what I'm saying? So like legit, and and during these hard times, cause it's hard times, baby. Trust me, hard times. It's, it's hard times out here, especially out here for Jake Chris. It's hard times now, but when we're talking about hard times for real, so like one, he screwed me over six hundred dollars, my house payment, 
That's that's the first reason. Second reason for all those people that he has fucked over in the past. I wasn't burning down a legacy. I wasn't trying to like throw a belt in the garbage or anything like that. Like I was trying to be different in the fact of like this is my point and this is I, I want I this is the message that I want to send. And that's exactly what I did. And the third reason why is because I knew deep down burning his titles and fucking them up was would fuck him up and hurt him the most. Cause like he like yeah everyone does this but like man he actually believes believes this. So it was like that was my way of ripping his fucking heart out and punting it fifty yards down the field. Cause that's what I did like with burning his title. So those are the three reasons why. I did it for the my children. I did it for the reasons with the the money that he owes me. He did it for the people that he's fucked over in the past, and I did it just to try to literally rip his fucking heart out. But also, man, like, to, like to go on and continue to do like what he's done for twenty years is it's fucked, and it's kind of like, you know, to do that as well. Like, dude, you got a family, you got kids. This is what you do to supply to provide for your family, man. And, and as a man, as a father, I can understand when someone tries to fuck with your money that you look after your family with like, yeah, fucking oath. You're going to be hot about it, bro. Um, I did pop when I saw the fucking photo of the bird. <laughs> you're talking, I'm like, and you're something like, I'm going to defend these fucking like the sash or something. Yeah. The sash dude. <laughs> so like I, I've made it into a sash. I'm actually, I uh, drilled a bunch of uh, holes into like the front plate. It actually looks, it's, it's looking pretty cool. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I want to, I want to defend the sash, uh, to any promotions that, uh, will allow me to defend the, I, I call it the mid sash right now, but, uh, right. I'm open to, uh, to names that, uh, my buddy said, uh, I should name, uh, the, the, uh, mid sash, uh, blazy. So I kind of, I kind of like that idea, uh, the blazy sash. But you know, I'm open. I'm open to uh, to ideas, and if you want to throw your name out for the sash, uh, I'll I'll listen. I'll hear it. Just throw it on uh, any of my socials, and uh, maybe maybe I'll pick your name because I I kind of had the idea of like, you know how like Negan was in The Walking Dead with Lucille. Yeah. It's kind of yeah. how I want to be with the the sash, you know. If I can just give it, you know, a, a name and just walk around defending it until, you know, it runs its course, and then uh, I'll leave. I'm I'm up in the air on what I want to do. I don't know if I want to just keep it forever or if I want to like. I, I think I'm thinking about cutting up the ropes and giving it up, giving a piece of the belt to people that he's really screwed over. In the past, like, you know, give a piece like John Wayne Murdoch and guys like that. That's really, you know, uh, really fucked over by Ian. You know, some fans has been screwed over. But uh, I yeah. I really don't want to take the chance of any of the pieces getting back to him either. So, like, I'm really torn on what I want to do with the ending. I might just throw it in the river. Who knows? Who knows yeah, what's well, gonna? There's gonna be some hardcore, hardcore fan that will pay big, big money for it. So, you know, if and that's the thing too. If uh, if you're out there listening and you want to pay uh, big money for the uh, the sash, hit me up. That sash could be yours. <laughs> 